Hello and welcome back to another episode of Reach Your Happy with Laura. So it is the weekend for me right now. You may not be listening to this on the weekend, but weekends for me are generally my downtime. Maybe for you too. So when I prepare for a video, I ask my guides, my highest self, and I ask whoever is going to be tuning into this, right? I don't know who's going to tune into it, but I ask for your teams to guide me. So today, before I began the video, I sat down, just settled into this space, into this environment, putting aside anything that has happened already today, as you know. I mean, I think it's almost, it's almost one o'clock now. So many things happen. Sometimes it, some days feel so full when not a lot goes on and energetically I just feel so much going on outside you may hear it in this video I'm on the East Coast um, a little west of Boston and it's windy that wind is howling and the wind really stirs things up so I have always used the weather as a barometer for what's going on with people so wind, stirring stuff up, helping you, oh my gosh, this is just coming to me, okay? Uh, helping you to root more deeply into your truth. So when the wind blows, sometimes you see trees knocked down and obviously that's upsetting, obviously. It's upsetting to me, so it must be to you, right? So wind helps a tree's roots, a plant's roots to strengthen. So it's uncomfortable but important so before i actually pressed on to record here i asked all right teams of the collective that's going to be tuning into this what would be most beneficial for all of us what is in the highest good of all to happen here today so i heard the root focus on the root and as an energy healer, we work on the different chakras of the body or energy centers. Some people call it chakra. So one of the chakras is the root chakra, which is at the very base of your tailbone, generally a deep red, represented as a deep red, almost sometimes, it's not orange, but a deep red. And I just say deep, because it's, it's like, I can't put words to it, but just imagine the deepest color red that you can imagine. So that is the root chakra. And here in the root chakra, and again, talking about the roots of a tree, our root chakra is tied to our physical body and it is also connected to our sense of security or the opposite, insecurity. Um, when we feel rooted, we feel grounded, we feel clear, we feel supported in our physical bodies, which then allows our spiritual bodies, emotions, whatever you're, you know, we're referencing here, the other aspects of us to feel more supported. So when I turn on the camera, I'm like, all right, what does this crew need from me? The root. So I'm actually going to provide a little Reiki for your root. So when you're in session with me, whether it's in person or over the phone, sometimes I'll tell you, okay, I'm working at your feet. I'm working at the root chakra. Tailbone down is really the root chakra area. So if you would like to get more comfortable, if you're willing to receive this healing, that is something too. We need to say yes to receiving this. And if you don't receive it, that's okay. But if you do want to receive this healing for your root chakra and the guidance that comes with it, all I ask is that you say, I am open to receiving this healing now. That's it. You can be driving, you can be laying down, whatever state you're in, trust that this will provide the healing that you need. So I'm gonna just tune in. And so the first message that I'm getting from the root chakra, again, often tied to the physical body, is that you're being stretched in ways that are making you uncomfortable. 
you're being stretched in ways by the the forces at work the universe people situations but you're also being stretched by your own mind by your own movement by your own actions so if you think about an elastic band right we can pull it pull it pull it at some point when it's stretched too far think about what it would do just keep pulling keep pulling keep pulling right i'm starting to kind of wince because a rubber band eventually snaps so you have some flexibility. You do have the ability to really stretch yourself and be in uncomfortable situations, but there is a point of snapping. So this day that you're encountering, maybe the next couple days for you, noticing, am I at that breaking point or can I stretch a little bit more? And if, you, if your answer is yes, I'm at the breaking point, I can't stretch anymore actually physically coming back into your body, doing something that's supportive, whether it's a healthy meal or drinking more water, some way of acknowledging, hey body, hey mind, hey soul, I'm feeling the stretch, I'm feeling the pressure, I'm feeling that tension and I wanna relieve it. And sometimes, most of the time, the biggest way we receive relief is by acknowledging that it's unfolding, acknowledging that we're feeling like I'm about to crack. Like how many times have you had an immense amount of stress on your shoulders and then you tell a friend about it or rather you withhold telling your partner or your friend about it and then you finally crack and you're like, okay, you know what? And, and there's some relief in that. So instead of needing someone outside of you, that's still a beneficial source, but knowing you have that source within you too, that by you saying, I'm stretched too thin, this is too much for me to take on today, you are helping reestablish a balance in your physical body. And when you reestablish balance in the physical form, you know, when you do something in any area of your life, one thing changes, everything changes. So if you reestablish a balance in your body by just acknowledging, I'm stretched too far, this is too much, I'm not gonna say yes to another thing, I'm not gonna agree to whatever it may be, maybe even crossing something off of your list, that will start to recalibrate the system and begin to head in the direction that you do want, which looks a little bit more like I'm under pressure, there's a lot going on, but I feel really capable. I actually feel thankful that I'm under this pressure because it's helping me grow in ways that I've been wanting to. Right? That's a much different feeling than, this is too much, I can't. There's panic involved. And, and though we can handle a great deal of stress, our nervous systems do have a certain level of bandwidth. There's only so much you can take on before you, like that rubber band, snaps. And really the key to avoiding, and I'm putting in quotes, avoiding snapping is not even getting to this place in the first place, not putting so much on your plate, taking so much on from other people, from work saying yes when you mean no, not having good boundaries, right? Like it's, it's honoring yourself before you get to the snap point, but that's, that's a lesson for another time. Really, what we're talking about here is I'm already there. I'm already in the hole. I'm already feeling this overwhelm. So what do I do? Relieve the pressure somehow. Sometimes for people, that's a glass of wine. Other people, it's going for a run. Other people, it's canceling the run. So noticing when, when you're starting to make a decision that's about assisting you in coming back in your body and not reaching that breaking point, Sometimes you kind of have to shuffle through the options. Does it feel best to me to go to the grocery store right now? Would it feel better for me to do the video then go to the grocery store? Is it in my best interest to do the workout first and just feel it? It's like going to a restaurant and looking at the menu and you're like, oh my gosh, but they have all these options. I have to choose them all, right? Or I don't like that option, but it's on the menu, so I guess I have to taste that octopus, right? And it's like, nope, nope. Imagine life as your menu. Yes, there are some things you have to do, right? You have to feed your babies. You have to, right? You have to go to the bathroom. You have to do some very specific things, but you certainly don't have to do all the things on your plate. So identifying what is a need to do, okay, feed my children, what is that? 
uh, I feel like I should do and, and see with those shoulds if you can tweak it. Sometimes you're gonna be in that space of like really overwhelmed, you can't even fucking think straight. So this morning, that was me. I had funky sleep and like this dream, it was just funky. Woke up not really feeling great. One, yesterday was planning to exercise and my calendar was like, today we exercise, then we make the video. And then, and I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't feel, I'm so sore, I just don't. And then advice they gave to my friend the other day, just do the warm up and then see how you feel. If you do a warm up and you still feel really good, keep going. And if you do a warm up and you're like, you know what, that's good for today, then that's good for today. So I did the warm up, some mobility drills, and I was like, oh, I feel so good. So I went forth and did a little bit more. So sometimes it's hard to make a decision when you're so removed from it. So put one foot in and just see, just see. Give yourself that space to decide something different, even if it goes against your calendar or what you think you should be doing. See what else the root has here. Yeah, I don't know if you've been noticing this lately, but there is a new order being established in your body. And it's funny, I heard this a couple times this week that a new order being established. So kind of a a fresh perspective is on the horizon, a a sense of newness, of new life, new direction, new way of being is, is right about to pop forth. But right now it's still kind of under, if you think about like a seedling, right? Underneath the surface and it's like, it's kind of making its way through. This is a great image if, if you're watching on YouTube, right? The seedling is just about to pop and be this beautiful tulip, but it's not quite there yet. So we feel this pressure and and it's like, if there's not an obvious thing to do, then yeah, you're just going through that right about to break through the surface into a new phase. And before you break into the new phase, a really helpful thing to assist you in staying present is being connected to your body. Because your body tells you the truth. It tells you when you're dog tired and you've taken too much on. It tells you when I've got energy to burn, I'm, I'm anxious and I wanna move this. Or there's a pain or there's something, right? Our body communicates to us. So what a beautiful time for me to receive that the root chakra is needing a little support. You know what it's like to have a great night's sleep and to wake up and face the day and feel like you got the food in your fridge that makes you feel most supported. You're doing the movements that make you feel supported. Maybe you're even wearing clothes, right? As much as the spiritual world moves away from the physical and it's like, you're a soul. And it's like, yeah, but I'm a human too. Human and soul, human being, I am both. So I know for a long time I felt guilty that I wanted my body to be a different size. I, I'm a spiritual being, right? Like I should be an acceptance of my frame, my shape. I should be an acceptance of that because it's what I've been given. It's like, yes, and if I wanna lean out a little bit, I have every right to do that. That's not something that I need to feel guilty about. So Yes, you are soul. Yes, you are emotions. Yes, you are a thinking being and you have a physical vessel. And that physical vessel is saying, me, my turn, please focus on me. And I, I'm sure you've experienced this when life gets hectic. Some people prioritize the body and just go all in there. I know for me, I lean more towards neglect and I'm not saying one is better than the other, but there is a balanced place. And each of us has our own version of what balance looks like. So whenever, whatever time frame you're listening to this in, there's gonna be a healing taking place for your physical body. So if you feel groggy, it's needing a little bit more rest. If you're feeling energized, go out and on that brisk walk. Notice how your body feels, understanding again, when I take care of one aspect of me, the physical aspect, that trickles to my emotional, my mental, my spiritual selves as well. Because when you work on one thing, it impacts all. Just like when you say you got new furniture, 
in your house, right? There's this kind of desire to like freshen other things up, maybe in work, maybe in, again, continued with the house theme. Maybe you want a new carpet, maybe you want a new coffee table. So when you focus in on the body, your mind may go, ooh, what else can we start to get on this same wavelength? And yeah, just one thing at a time, focusing on the body, grounding it, helping it to feel secure. And by grounding, I mean being in your physical body. I know I've gone times where I'm just kind of like so in my head, it literally feels like my head's cut off from the rest of my body and I get injured or I'm achy and I'm like not really aware of it until I get a massage or I go to acupuncture and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what my body feels like. You don't have to get in any of those treatments done to feel that. You can put your feet in the grass that is really grounding. You know, going to the ocean, a beach day, why you feel so chill? Because you're very grounded. You've taken all that buzzy energy and, and channeled it into the earth through your feet. So grounding first helps the body feel more supported and seen. And that's, guys, that's like... 90% of our problems is that aspects of us do not feel seen, feel ignored or unappreciated. Um, so I was going to say something about that grounding. Oh, a friend messaged me the other day or we talked on the phone while she was walking. And when she got back from the walk, she's like, I am so tired. Like that walk really did it. And, and she's like, I, I'm surprised like that walk was so easy. And my first thought was, Maybe it wasn't the walk. Maybe you were actually really tired and that walk helped you get in your body and out of your head. So a gentle movement like that helps you become really aware of this physical vessel. So when you need to check in, when you're not sure, connecting to the body in some way and, and imagining, right, this energy center, the root chakra, at the base of your tailbone, all the way down to your feet, comes into harmony when we pay attention to how we feel and helping us feel like the tree extremely rooted in ourselves, rooted in our truth, rooted in what we're capable of today. I was gonna just go into this thing about people pleasing and why we neglect the body, but there, that's for another day. Let's just keep it at that. So I'm just gonna seal up your energy, clearing anything that doesn't serve you. We thank you angels, we thank you guides, we thank you teams for this healing of our beloved human today. I ask that this healing take root and expand in ways that pleasantly surprise them. We ask that this healing be as gentle as possible on their physical bodies as they transition into this different vibration. We thank you for your unconditional love and support, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, crew, thank you for tuning in. Um, maybe this will be a thing. Maybe I'll go to the next chakra that I feel called to do. Let me know if you like this, if you felt anything, if it inspired anything from you. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes. I cannot believe where I started to where I am now and none of this would be possible without your support. So thank you, take good care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.